In this video, we are going to talk about the review of Huawei Honor B and this is the second part of the review of this smartphone and the first part was of the camera review and the third will be gaming review and in this I will be giving a summary of everything about this device I have used uh, this device about 10 days now and I think this is the time that I can give you a final review so first uh, I will start with the size the size of this smartphone is 4.5 inches and uh, that being the size it is uh, really pocketable portable and whatever you can call you can easily hold this in your hand and you will see that you can see that all the fingers uh, reach every single every point uh, of this uh, smartphone that is uh, this means that for those uh, who have a problem with long smartphone and uh, who cannot reach every point of the smartphone with their fingerprints uh, with their fingers then they can do that with the on this smartphone and then the thickness of this smartphone is not that much and also the weight of the smartphone is not that much it is a lightweight devices and the weight of the devices have always been coming down recently and with that a lot of things have changed nowadays smartphones are not that heavy and uh, now you can see that this is the display of this uh, device you can see that currently we are on the lock screen and when you drag this from this side to this side then you get to see uh, the inside of the device and this is the ui this is how they have arranged it is a straight forward you have no you do not have a drop down menu in this case you have straight forward UI and uh, the UI looks beautiful there is no problem at all now we are going to see the drop down menu and uh, this is how you see and now you can see that there are various other settings and there you can adjust the auto brightness you have got a lot of things on this uh, on this uh, drop down menu then there is also a notification uh, for, to see your notification you have to go in and out and uh, this is how you do it and now you can see that in the in the notification there is a game play there is a notification from dead trigger 2 and uh, this is because i was testing uh, this game on this device and have been playing it and uh, was uh, looking how this device performs there now this uh, on the ui you can see that there are separate options a uh, full uh, separate way of creating folders where you can uh, uh, bundle up all different types of application and put that into that folder and we move on further and we see the touch of this device the touch of this device is not that sensitive and in fact it is not that good but it does not mean that uh, it is bad well you won't feel it is bad but if you have used other smartphones that have faster touches then uh, the definitely this uh, the touch of this smartphone will uh, feel slow and then there is the typing speed well uh, the typing speed uh, takes some response uh, takes some time to respond and uh, that is uh, maybe fraction of seconds and uh, that isn't that bad and it works it is okay and then now let us go move to the uh, camera of this device and then we can talk about the performance and various other things the camera on this device is a 8 megapixel and uh, has dual led flash while the camera on the front is 2 megapixel i have done a separate review of camera where I talked about the every single detail of this camera and you can watch that to know how this camera performs uh, but uh, in this case i will give a summary of this camera uh, the camera quality of this smartphone is average even the quality of the front camera is average uh, when uh, it, there is no much detail in the photographs and videos taken uh, and there are the file sizes are huge the for one photo file size is of 3 mb to 4 mb that's uh, totally bad and it has dual led flash that uh, helps in taking photos uh, when there is no light now let's move to the performance department uh, since from the time i am using this device i did not feel that this device hangs uh, for the price point the specification are good for the price point everything on this device uh, is okay because you won't get 8 megapixel camera at this price point at least because i know i have been buying devices since uh, four, four five years and uh, and i have seen how gradually they have grown and how much uh, the it was there was uh, how much for how much money how many specifications were available uh, just in the month of of December when you wanted to buy a device at this price point hardly anything was available now I'm moving towards other things like uh, the gaming 
Well, I played Dead Rigado as you can see. I played D Day. I played uh, uh, Subway Surfer and even Temple Run 2. All of them ran smoothly. Occasionally, there was problem with the play while playing D Day 2, and uh, I did not notice any hitting while playing. If I played for about one hour continuously, and I was I did not see any hitting at all. Uh, but the uh, D Day got stuck maybe, but the device itself did not hang. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, the device did not hang. Only it was only the the game that wasn't loaded. I haven't seen that happen uh, before but it happened on this device that's the only thing that happened uh, the uh, dead trigger 2 ran very smoothly I'll uh, show you when I play uh, I will do when I do a gaming review of this device but until then uh, I can share you my experience uh, that I had until now now let's talk about the crucial part that is the battery life of this device uh, th this device has only 1730 mAh of battery which is uh, uh, considered to be very low by many people and yeah it is very low uh, for, uh, when I was gaming on this device I thought I uh, saw that the device lasts for about two hours uh, and uh, minimum brightness and uh, that was I think uh, okay for a smartphone a dead trigger 2 lasted for two hours and I uh, think this is okay for any device uh, for, uh, for this much of battery well but this uh, much battery will not last you all day uh, you'll have to recharge or you have to carry a power bank if your use is extensive uh, because this is not going to be sufficient for you and that's the only biggest downside of this uh, smartphone now moving on further with the uh, charging time of this device uh, the charging time of this device is not fast it takes time to charge and uh, it is just like old smartphones uh, which take uh, time uh, to charge then comes the comparison of these devices with other smartphone I did a lot of comparisons and based on that, that I can say that for this price point uh, you get a lot on this device this is also a dual sim smartphone which means that you can insert uh, two sims into, into this device well the performance was okay i have uh, had good time now let's go to the audio quality of this device well uh, the when i uh, when the lord speaker were good uh, they give you good audio quality in fact uh, the uh, they are loud uh, but occasionally you will feel that it is uh, low uh, and yes of course why not it is a smartphone and there are high chances that the uh, audio quality won't be sufficient for you but uh, for many uh, when I compared it with many smartphones I felt this one is okay they are uh, it was completely audible uh, it wasn't uh, it was not uh, it was unlike other smartphones uh, but uh, it was audible and uh, overall uh, this device is okay for purchase you can buy it can I rec then uh, can I recommend it for uh, to a friend yes of course I'll recommend to a friend with a warning that the battery backup of this device is not good the performance is okay the performance in fact is uh, more than enough for the price they are uh, you are giving for this device and then it is an online device and uh, there are flaws i will talk about the reasons not to buy uh, this device later and that in that reason i will mention uh, certain reasons like three or four reasons where why you should not pick up this device and uh, and uh, this is the end of the review of huawei on a b we will meet next time